I know that everyone is super used to Lightroom by now, but how about Capture One? In this video, we'll go over some of the main aspects and see what the differences are when it comes to Capture One vs Lightroom. While both of them are popular and can do the same thing, there are some differences we need to point out, as well as the special features they offer. Let's go ahead then and take a look at some of the specifics and see which one you should eventually work with. One, photo organizing. Both Lightroom and Capture One offer incredible photo organizing options. For me, Lightroom seems a little more intuitive, but Capture One allows you to sort photos by their name, date, ISO, aperture, shutter speed, and even the lens you took the photo with and will order them differently depending on what you choose. Two, camera and lens support. In general, Lightroom was always the first to adapt to new cameras and lenses, and a very good example is the Nikon 7 launch. Lightroom introduced it somewhere mid-October, while Capture One started supporting it in late November. Of course, most people won't just go ahead and buy any new camera that comes out. So this is not necessarily a minus for Capture One, but in this Capture One vs Lightroom dilemma, it's worth mentioning. 3. Interface Customization Depending on your needs, you may want to be able to fully customize your interface and shortcuts. While Lightroom is pretty basic from this point of view, in Capture One you can pretty much move everything around to create the perfect layout, but also to customize your own shortcuts. 4. Layers Something Lightroom is lacking but would have been very useful are layers. Capture One, on the other hand, has this option, and you can create different layers for different edits. Of course, with Lightroom, you can use all kinds of filters, but layers can really make a difference. Here, Capture One perfectly combines Photoshop and Lightroom functionality, giving it a lot of extra points, and it's not as laggy. Sometimes while adding a lot of edits in Lightroom, the whole program slows down. 5. Color Adjustments Even though Lightroom offers a lot of different color adjustments, Capture One manages to bring something more. Capture One has this color balance tool that allows you to edit the shadows, midtone, and highlights. That's pretty similar to Lightroom's split toning tool where you can only edit the shadows and highlights. 6. Tethering This is something very useful for any studio photographer, and Capture One offers it. You can connect your camera to the software and see everything in real time. Lightroom, on the other hand, doesn't offer something similar. So if you need tethering, then you should consider Capture One. 7. Plugins and Presets Since Lightroom is incredibly popular and allowed third-party resources for quite some time, it's safe to say that you can find pretty much anything you need for it, from plugins to presets to extend its functionality. Capture One, on the other hand, didn't allow any third party options up until November 2018, so it can be hard to find different assets to add to your projects. 8. Price, like it or not. Price is also an important thing when choosing an editing software, so let's take a look at that. Right now, you can get the Lightroom and Photoshop pack for about $10 a month from the Adobe website. Capture One, on the other hand, comes in four different packs. There are the specific ones for Fujifilm, Nikon, and Sony you can get for $10 a month, or the all-camera pack that's $24 a month. They also offer you the possibility of subscribing for one year for $173, or buy your own license for $349, but you'd have to pay extra for every new update. 9. Accessibility Something I really like about Lightroom is the fact that I can synchronize all my files in the cloud and have access to them from all my devices, and this is something I can't do with Capture One. If you only need to use it in the studio, that's perfectly fine and you shouldn't have any problems with it. If you're like me though, and you move all the time, it's amazing to have everything on all your devices. Overview In my opinion, it's hard to pick a winner because everyone has different needs. It all comes down to what you do and what you really need for your photos. If you're the type that shoots in the studio and you have no reason of moving around and you want to fully edit your photos, then maybe Capture One is the best for you. If you're constantly moving around though and you don't apply a lot of edits, then Lightroom is the way to go and you won't lose anything. What you can do is try them both and see which one is better for you. In this Capture One vs Lightroom matter, we don't have to pick a winner as they are quite different and serve different purposes. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.